What a day it has been. And we're off. Puerto Rico in the white and blue. Serbia in the red. Will Martinez had the hot hand last time out for Puerto Rico. As they picked up a win over Egypt. Majstorovic fouled on the drive. Or knocked away, no foul call. Look again, it's, oh, Will Martinez got a hand in there. And here's Sub-Zero over to Dusan Bullet. Bullet to Maestro, Maestro fading away. Man, that was a tough shot. And he kisses it off the glass, Mwah. John Garcia stepped on the baseline. Out of bounds, Serbia ball. Number one player in the world, Dusan Bullet. It's been lighting it up. All pool play long. The defending champs looking to go for gold yet again. And all they need is 14 points, regardless of the outcome. As a three-way tie, go to, to the points and total points. Now we, as we have it figured out, Russia with a total of 73. Serbia needed just 14. Puerto Rico needs 15 and a win. So 13 with a win and four or 14 with a win. Won't get the job done. Pelicoco. Soft touch. And Puerto Rico's on the board. Marco Savage. Front of the rim. Dusan Bullet doesn't pull it. Instead, finds himself on the ground. Helped up. And give it a nice slap on the backside by Clavel. I could hear that three rows up. They must be good friends. Oh, miscommunication on that pass. You don't see that a lot from Team Serbia. Dusan Bullet checks out. The Maestro checks in. Serbia won it all in 2012 and won it again last year. Finished second in 2014. His bullet over to the maestro. Too strong on the two pointer. Foul called on red. So Garcia decides to have Clavel take it out instead. He's going to set a back screen. Takes the handoff quickly down to Clavel. He wanted a foul. Now he's got to check up on Dusan Bullet. Bullet creates a little separation, and his two ball rattles out. Sub Zero saves it, but uh, Garcia gets a hand on it. Bullet ends up with it. Maestro, quick trigger, air ball. Clavel got his hands on it and bumps into John Garcia. Garcia to Pelacoco. Coco rises up and gets the score. Sub-Zero off the mark. Dusan, a great hustle to get it back. And Cero to the Maestro. Dusan kicks it. That's a wide open look for Sub-Zero. And he's as cold as his nickname. Pelicoco, spin to the paint. Bucket, plus the bump. Chance for a two point play as Puerto Rico is now up by two, two and a half into this game. Four fouls on Serbia, two minutes into this. I've said it time and time and time again. There are not many flaws with this Serbian team, except for the fact that they tend to pick up fouls. Most of the time, 
it doesn't matter because <laughs> they're up double digits or in command of a basketball game. But picking up four fouls this early when you could be in the penalty at seven can potentially hurt you. Serbia need a 14 points to secure a spot in the medal round. Dusan takes the handoff, guarded aggressively by Martinez here. This is a good matchup here. Dusan nowhere to go. Launches it from the 3x3 logo. And that dude, he hit that one from where the fairies live. Never, never land. Dusan. Can't connect on the second time. Martinez guarded well from Bullet. Nothing happening on the inside. The maestro trying to get his stroke going. Dusan with a heads up play, steals it underneath. And Savage is able to lay it in. So it's a 4-3 game, Serbia back on top. Here's Martinez fouled on the floor by the maestro. Oh, or did he step out of bounds? I think he stepped out of bounds. TV timeout. And a one point game, 6.40 on the clock. Another look at Dusan here. This is ridiculous. And he just drops him off like the first day of school. The degree of difficulty with that shot is just unbelievable. Sub-Zero has it on the wing. Dusan with the moves. Garcia nearly steals it. Four left on the shot clock for Team Serbia. Dusan pulls up just short, but uh, maybe a little la lazy on the rebound attempt from Puerto Rico. As Serbia was able to retain possession. Uh, Dusan just walking right in and grabbing that rebound. Sub-Zero misses at the free throw stripe. Savage drops it off to Sub-Zero. Nowhere to go. Back out to Savage. Kicks it over to Sub-Zero. The floater goes down. Serbia's lead now up to two. Five to three game. Six minutes to play. Pella Coco, he's a bull down there. And stronger than no deodorant. And Martinez steps on the out of bounds line. Our referees keeping things in order. They don't like to be contested. They spend a lot of time and a lot of hours evaluating tape and looking at their calls and making sure they're as accurate as possible. Dusan not accurate on that jump shot. Now he's got to guard that man right there. And that is a load. Pella Coco. Five up for now. The maestro misses. So Puerto Rico in need of 15 points and a win. And they're capable of beating the Serbian team. Pella Coco misses the layup, though. Dusan with some smart defense. He kind of pulled the chair there at the last moment. And then he uh, he's running out of gas. So he fouls Dusan. And Clavel's going to check in. Both squads with 14 fouls. And our final game of the day here on the third day of five. 
for the 2017 3x3 World Cup. Maestro to Dusan. Dusan pulls it, and he's on point. Martinez lays it up short. Clavel's there for the follow. And then he prevents uh, Savage from clearing it quickly. He's going to get a warning. Next one's going to amount to a technical. So a one-point lead for Team Serbia. And another look at the dagger. Maestro, great composure at the rim to score it. Serbia with a two-point advantage. Under five minutes to play. Clavel spinning, guarded well by Dusan. Clavel's got the size, and he's got the bucket as well. Clavel and Bullet getting tied up a little bit there. Savage trying to hand it off to the Maestro. Can we get some stream music? No. Dusan battling for it. Clavel ends up with it. Martinez, that's a good look. Can't hit it. Maestro hustle. Martinez saves it. Jonathan Garcia on the drive, kicks it over to Clavel. Oh, that's a that's a tough uh, tough fall for the Maestro. And Clavel and him hug it out. Hug it out. Good news is nobody's hurt. That's just two competitors, y'all. That's just two dudes that really want it. These are just two teams that really want it. Would you expect any less? I would hope not. Eight, seven games, Serbia holding on to a one-point advantage as Clavel steps up to the stripe. Five fouls now on Team Serbia. So our refs. Wow, it's getting intense out here. And Clavel strokes the free throw, eight up. Maestro to Savage. The drive nearly stolen by Clavel. Sub-Zero tracks it down. Savage, catch, shoot, miss. Maestro gets it though. And he's got a wide open look, and he is a shooter, ladies and gentlemen. Two piece, no biscuit. And Serbia's up by two. Clavel turns around, runs right into the maestro. Out of bounds, I believe, on Serbia. We'll, uh, we'll know for sure once they come back from the TV timeout whether, whether or not uh, that's Serbia or Puerto Rico's ball. Another look at some of the play here. And it has been intense. Dusan Bullet pulling it from the 3x3 logo. Sick, filthy, and ridiculous. Over to the Maestro. Look good from here. Splash. 12-8, Serbia starting to pull away now. Pelicoco. With the response, 3.30 left. And the maestro misses. John Garcia up for the board. Gets the pick. Garcia lets one go from long range. He misses Pelicoco there for the rebound and the score. So it's a two-point game. 3.15, the maestro now. He's got the advantage here. If he decides to post up on John Garcia, instead he kicks it to Dusan. Dusan guarded by Pelicoco. The number one 3x3 player in the world gets his shot blocked. Nice block by Pelicoco. Martinez back to the big man, back to Martinez. Two ball corner pocket. It's missed, but Martinez tracks down the rebound. He's going at bullet, fades away. Misses the shot. Pelicoco there, a strong rebound. And a foul called on Dusan. Foul number six on Serbia. One more, and they're in the penalty. It's a 10 12 game. Look again. And just a little bit of a 
slap on the wrist there by Dusan, and a good call by the referee. Here's Pelicoco, handing off to Garcia. Garcia, reverse won't go. Clavel muscles it up and draws the foul. Seeing Team Serbia talking with the refs a little bit. Got to be careful as the tension and temperature continues to rise with so much on the line here. Serbia looking to reach that 14-point mark. Puerto Rico needing 15 and a win here. Tie ball game, 14 apiece, two and a half. Here's Savage on the drive. Foul on the drive. So Puerto Rico with five team fouls, Serbia with seven, they're in the penalty. 2.30 to play. It's all even. Serbia needs 14 points to advance. And Clavel with the block. Call for the foul, though. Dusan is going to get one free throw. Another look. Solid defensive play, just a little bit too much contact. Here's Dusan. Good on the free throw. So Serbia with 13 points, just one shy of that magic number that they'll need. That'll secure them in case of a tiebreaker. Clavel misses the crib, and Dusan going to work. He's got his hard hat on, doesn't he? Marco Zero, he had been struggling with a shot from outside. That's a big one, and it's going to lock down a spot for Serbia. Gives them 15 to 13 now. Now Puerto Rico, and Martinez fouls the maestro on the two-point attempt. Buck 45 left in this, and Puerto Rico making the road a little bit tougher. They can still win this basketball game, but it's gonna take nearly some flawless play down the stretch against the top overall seed and the defending World Cup champ, Serbia, led, of course, by the number one player in the world, Dusan Bullet. And the maestro strokes the free throw. Second free throw is in, 17 to 13. So Serbia with no worries. They don't want to lose, though, as they have not lost in pool play. One forty on the clock. Savage locked and loaded. Wet. Nineteen thirteen. Serbia may win this thing outright as well. Garcia gathers it and scores. Maestro for the win. Misses it. Savage. Passes up the two-pointer. The two-shooter locked and loaded for the maestro. There's some stream music for you. Do-do-do-do-do. Do-do. It's over. 
21-14, Serbia, unscathed in pool play. Did you expect anything less? They were tested, though, weren't they? Yeah. So as it ends up, Puerto Rico finishes 2-2, two and two, and it's going to be Serbia coming out of Pool A along with Russia.